Let me tell you why I think SpaceX will be one of the most valuable companies of all time, and a few ways that you can invest in it. When I was a kid, I wanted to be an astronaut. I would spend hours gazing at the stars, imagining myself traveling through space, and exploring the mysteries of the universe. I dreamed of seeing planets that no one else had ever seen before, of experiencing zero gravity, and of seeing Earth from above. As I got older, my interest in space began to change. It became less about the adventure, and more about the technology that made space exploration possible in the first place. I was captivated by the rockets, the satellites, and the probes that helped us study the universe in ways that used to be impossible. I realized that I wanted to be somebody who helped humanity become a multi-planetary species. So I went to school and became an electrical engineer. And then came the heartbreak. In 2011, right when I graduated college, NASA retired the space shuttle. The space shuttle was the backbone of NASA's manned space program and played a huge role in launching satellites, conducting scientific research, and even building the International Space Station. Retiring the space shuttle had big implications for the U.S. space program. Without a good way to get astronauts to space, the U.S. had to depend on Russian Soyuz spacecraft to transport crew to the ISS. But it also marked the beginning of a new era of space exploration and innovation with companies like SpaceX. Today, SpaceX is leading the charge in commercial spaceflight with its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, as well as their Crew Dragon and Starship, which is set for its first orbital test flight at the end of April if it gets FAA approval. You're probably aware that SpaceX was founded by Elon Musk with the ultimate goal of ensuring our long-term survival by making humanity a multi-planetary species. To do that, SpaceX is focused on a few key areas like building reusable rockets and spacecraft, establishing a global satellite internet network, and building manned spacecraft capable of carrying astronauts to the International Space Station and beyond. But what you may not realize is that reusable rockets, global high-speed internet, and even manned spaceships all have huge growth potential as businesses, which makes them potentially great investments. And the fact that SpaceX is involved in all three makes it a company worth figuring out how to get into your portfolio. Let's start with reusable rockets. According to Allied Research, the Space Launch Services market is expected to grow from around $10 billion in 2019 to over $32 billion by 2027, which is almost a 16% compound annual growth rate. That might not sound like a huge market, especially how expensive launch costs used to be. But I did a lot of digging, and let me just show you how much SpaceX is disrupting the traditional space industry. The Russian Soyuz, I mentioned earlier, cost a whopping $210 million per launch back in 2015. Even NASA's Atlas V rockets cost $164 million per launch. But the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket costs less than half of that at around $71 million. And today, SpaceX medium lift Falcon 9 rockets cost around $62 million per launch. By the way, each NASA space shuttle launch costs around $450 million or $8,200 per pound of cargo. That number goes up to around $1.5 billion per launch if you just divide the $209 billion that the entire space shuttle program costs by the 135 flights that the program had. Compare that to the Falcon 9. According to ARK Invest's estimates, it costs under $2,000 per pound to launch something into low Earth orbit with the Falcon 9. Not only that, but the space shuttle averaged around 250 days between launches, and its fastest ever time between launches was 54 days. But thanks to the reusability of their rockets, SpaceX cut that time by more than half so far, which means they can run many more launches per year. SpaceX completed over 60 launches in 2022 alone, nearly doubling their record of 31 launches in 2021. They make an estimated $60 million per launch and have generated over $3.5 billion with their launch business so far. But it's not just about reusability. It's also about reliability and rapid iteration. Just like with Tesla, SpaceX manufactures most of its main components in-house rather than outsourcing parts to the lowest bidder. Hey, Harry. Yeah, right. You know, we're sitting on 4 million pounds of fuel, one nuclear weapon, and a thing that has 270,000 moving parts built by the lowest bidder. Oh, makes you feel good, doesn't it? Yeah. Building things in-house means greater control over the production process and enables faster iteration and testing, which is how SpaceX has been able to drive launch costs down so aggressively. And that's a big deal because it means SpaceX can pass those savings on to potential launch customers while their competitors can't. 
That's how SpaceX is disrupting the traditional aerospace market and making spaceflight more accessible to a wider range of customers. But SpaceX's biggest client is actually themselves. SpaceX started launching Starlink satellites in 2019. And today, Starlink has over 3,500 small satellites in low Earth orbit and plans to deploy around 12,000 in total. Starlink is now active on every continent and reaches more than a million subscribers as of late last year. At around $100 per month per subscriber, Starlink is already generating around $1.2 billion in annual recurring revenue for SpaceX. Starlink plans to reach 100 million users over the next decade which means it could generate around $120 billion in annual recurring revenue. There are a couple key points worth mentioning here. Starlink terminals only started production about two years ago. The first one cost over $10,000 to make. So far, they've produced about 1 million terminals, but more than 75% of that were made in the last 200 days alone. Now they cost roughly $500 to make and could drop by another 40% over the next five years as production keeps ramping up. That's important because just like with the reusable rockets, Starlink is in a position to offer terminal pricing that competitors can't really match. But it doesn't matter how good the pricing is if the internet itself isn't that good. The reason Starlink needs so many satellites in the first place is because they're in low Earth orbit. That means that each satellite covers a lot less ground than satellites that sit much further away from Earth. But it also means that there's a lot less distance for the signal to cross. As a result, Starlink's latency is below 40 milliseconds, which is almost 10 times less delay than internet that comes from geostationary satellites. The other really nice thing is the synergy between these two business units. Because the Falcon 9 has so many low-cost launches and Starlink needs to launch so many satellites, SpaceX can always fill extra space on a Falcon 9 rocket with Starlink satellites. That's obviously great for Starlink because it means reliable access to a launch platform. And it's great for the launch business, since each rocket gets to launch at close to full payload capacity. Hopefully you're starting to get a sense for just how unique SpaceX is as a business. And we haven't even gotten into their manned space flights with Crew Dragon or the massive Starship program. In fact, SpaceX is already the second most valuable private company in the world, only behind TikTok's parent company ByteDance. In October of 2021, SpaceX held a secondary sale of their shares at a $100 billion valuation. And they just had another funding round in January where they raised $750 million at a $137 billion valuation. That means SpaceX's valuation grew by 37% over 15 months, while the S&P 500 lost 10 to 15% over that same time frame. Institutions have realized that launches and space-based systems are becoming winner-take-most markets. That's why Google, Founders Fund, Bally Gifford, Fidelity, and Bank of America are all investing billions in SpaceX. In fact, some institutional investors and industry experts believe that SpaceX could even become more valuable than Tesla, which is worth around $600 billion today. That means SpaceX could still more than 4x from here. But since SpaceX is still a private company, how do we get access to those returns? Well, one way is by buying Google stock. Alphabet, Google's parent company, invested a billion dollars into SpaceX back in 2015 when it was only valued at $10 billion. That means that Alphabet actually owns 10% of SpaceX. That's a great investment for them, and Alphabet has 13x their money on SpaceX so far already. But the problem here is that Alphabet is worth over $1.3 trillion today, and it already has its hands in many different businesses across many different market sectors. That means the stock price won't move much based on SpaceX's performance. You could also invest in funds that hold SpaceX stock directly, like Bally Gifford's US Growth Trust or their Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust, which is a funny name for a portfolio focused on, quote unquote, the world's most exceptional growth companies. But these funds have the same problem as Google stock. The Scottish Mortgage Trust is only 3.5% SpaceX stock. And even though SpaceX is the biggest holding in their US Growth Trust, it's still only 6.7% SpaceX. But what if there was a way to buy SpaceX stock directly? That's where Disraptor comes in. Disraptor is a private equity investing app that makes investing in pre-IPO companies easy and affordable. The analysts at Disraptor handpick only the best companies and show you what the company does, its market opportunities, and of course, helps you understand the risks. For example, people who invested in Palantir back when it was private saw a 133% net profit from that deal. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Disraptor focuses on technologies that have already become market leaders, which means you can get a piece of the most exciting private companies in the world, like OpenAI, Discord, and of course, SpaceX. 
Right now, accredited investors can use the Disraptor app to invest in SpaceX for as little as $10,000. SpaceX is currently valued at $137 billion. But if analysts are right and it becomes bigger than Tesla stock, that means SpaceX will still more than 4x from here. And if you're interested in building your private equity portfolio, you can also invest in OpenAI. OpenAI is currently valued at $32 billion, which is only about 10% higher than when Microsoft invested their billions. But these rounds are closing on April 3rd. So if you're interested, go use my link in the description below today. Another reason to consider buying SpaceX stock directly is because it may be a few years before Starlink actually goes public. Last summer, Elon Musk told SpaceX employees that Starlink wouldn't IPO until at least 2025, assuming that the business is smooth sailing and predictable by then. That turned out to be a great call given how much valuations have fallen for newly IPO'd companies over the last few quarters. All right, I started this video by telling you that I've always had a passion for space exploration and the technologies that make it possible. When I was young, that meant NASA, but today it means SpaceX. A little over six months ago, NASA awarded SpaceX with five more crewed flights to the International Space Station, which means SpaceX now has a total of 14 manned missions with NASA, with a combined contract value of over $5 billion. But that's just the Crew Dragon. Now let's talk about Starship. Starship is a massive next generation rocket designed to launch cargo and people on missions to the moon and Mars. To do that, Starship has a giant first stage booster called Super Heavy and a 165 foot tall upper stage spacecraft, which is the Starship itself. Both parts are powered by SpaceX's next generation Raptor engines, and both parts are designed to eventually be fully reusable. Starship has technically flown before, but only with prototypes of the upper stage. The super heavy version of the ship has never left the ground. Reaching orbit is the next step in testing for the rocket, and SpaceX is currently awaiting approval from the FAA for Starship's first ever orbital test flight. Elon Musk said that the Starship has about a 50% chance of succeeding on its first orbital flight, and that SpaceX is currently building multiple Starship vehicles at Starbase. In addition to taking people and cargo to the moon and Mars, Starship is also expected to be used for Earth-to-Earth -Earth transport, which means trips that usually take 16 hours today could take as little as two or three. According to ARK Invest's research, corporate executives and the ultra-wealthy should be willing to pay about $15,000 for every two hours that they save on a flight. That means somebody flying from New York City to Japan would be willing to pay $100,000 to get there in two to three hours instead of 16. While that sounds astronomical, no pun intended, remember that the market for this would be people who already fly private today or cargo that needs to make it around the world very fast at any cost, like hearts for transplants. But the benefits of Starship extend beyond just the ultra urgent, the ultra wealthy, or the ultra adventurous. One thing that I've been thinking about is just how big Starship really is. Right now, a lot of products are designed with shipping in mind. So for example, big machines like the ones that make all of our chips need to be broken down into smaller subsystems to be transported. But Starship can carry around 35% more cargo than a Boeing 747. So if it becomes the next default mode of transport for cargo, we could see machines that we've never seen before simply because there will be something big enough to carry that design from point A to point B in a reasonable amount of time. All right. Hopefully this episode helped you understand all the ways that SpaceX could impact every area of communication, space exploration, and transportation. Starlink is a profitable powerhouse that'll bring internet connectivity to the entire planet, and maybe even one day to the moon and Mars. Reusable rockets like the Falcon 9 and the Crew Dragon are driving launch costs down and disrupting the launch industry in a big way. And Starship could be the thing that finally makes humanity a multi-planetary species as well as save companies and cargo a ton of time and money here on Earth. And speaking of time and money, don't forget that you can invest in SpaceX and OpenAI right now thanks to Disraptor, but that investment window closes on April 3rd, so make sure to use my link in the description below before then. And if you feel I've earned it, consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. That lets me know to put out more research like this. Either way, thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Ticker Symbol U. My name is Alex, reminding you, that the best investment you can make is in you.